window, out the window, out the window, out the window. Nightmare RH joined YouTube on May 26, 2008, and would start making videos only a day later on the 27th. However, Nightmare RH had been playing RuneScape since around 2005. He gained interest in the game after watching a real life friend kill zombies in the sewer. His motivation for starting his YouTube channel was that when he joined YouTube in 2008, he didn't like some of the updates and didn't like the direction the game was heading. He used YouTube as a platform to express his anger. Why did you start making YouTube videos of RuneScape? The reason why I started making YouTube videos of RuneScape is because I came back on RuneScape not playing it for about a year, and I found out that RuneScape had totally changed with summoning the Grand Exchange, the trade limit, and I was actually just kind of pissed off or just kind of don't want to. Question 12. How and why did you get started making vids? I started making vids because I was pissed off at shit on this game and I wanted to voice my opinion. The early videos uploaded by Nightmare RH would be in stark contrast to what he would later become popularized and well known for. He would calmly discuss progress on his character, game updates, and give his opinion on those updates, whether people liked it or not, or whether it was the popular opinion or not. He would also discuss how he made his in-game wealth, which, just looking at this video, it doesn't look like much by today's standards, but back in 2008, this was a lot of money and this guy I knew what he was doing, despite, you know, the reputation he has as a bonehead. RuneScape is me, Nightmare, and this is going to be my guide to make RuneScape money video. Alright, first of all, I'll just start off by saying why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I'm basically tired of being called a noob all the time. People are always saying I'm a noob because they think that I bought all my items or that I just PK'd when you could in the wild or that I lured people in or took somebody's account over. No, I've never bought any items and I never even went PKing once, even when you could. All I got all my items through skills and merchant. Well, when you could merchant. Uh, let me just first uh, start off by saying what merchant is if you don't already know. Uh, merchanting is basically when you buy the, an item, a large amount of an item for the lowest price and you sell for the highest price. My item that I used was uh, Pure Rune Essence. Back two years ago when I first got into RuneScape and I was merchant like crazy, I would buy as much ru uh, Pure Rune Essence as I can for 75 GP each and back then the highest you could sell was 95 on the form. But I mean, they would only pay 95 if you um, have like a large quantity, like um, 30,000 or 20,000. And I did. I, I, I would sell probably about around 35,000 a day and make a large profit. Uh, the, I stopped making, well, I stopped merching at 70 mil, mainly because it was two months of just not doing any skills and the game was actually getting pretty boring to me. And I thought, you know what, let me buy some all my items I really wanted. And um, that's when I bought my um, Dragon Chain Body for 16 mil back then. Uh, my Emmy of Fury I bought, paid for that. Uh, I believe I paid 5.9 mil, 5.8. Um, Berg Circuit Ring, paid 2 mil. Uh, Dragon Plate Legs back then, I paid something like 2.8 mil. My Whip, I paid 3.3 mil. That was way back when they were still in the three mills. In some of these early clips, you can see the absurdity of things happening in game to Nightmare, causing anger and annoyance. Talk about that while I uh, prepare to do some uh, Hunter. Item lending, ha all it has basically done is just made a whole bunch of people follow me around. Yeah, like right now, I got a whole bunch of people just following me the fuck around. And it's starting to really piss me the fuck off. You know, but, um, hey, you know what, whatever. I just wanted to, uh, make this, uh, short combat video. Um, for a lot of people who don't really like to, uh, skill, like, basically, uh, I'm a skiller, that's how I get all my money. Well, uh, for the past day now, I've been killing these, uh, level 82, uh, Enkuns at, uh, level 4 of the, uh, Stronghold Security. And, uh, I've made already today about 1.2 million dollars and just drops 
These early video formats such as update discussion, bank videos, and money making guides would be prevalent throughout the years on the channel. What came next is what would ultimately be Nightmare's most iconic pieces of content. Attack you dickhead. Fucking attack now, piece of shit. 21 my ass, that's rigged. 18 my ass, that's bullshit. Oh my god, f attack me. God damn it. 15, 45, holy shit, we need telly now. Telly now. Come on, telly, dickhead. Alright. That is like a combat war zone in there. It's actually pretty cool. I actually like being in a multi, like, combat area. Oh, son of a fucking ranging assholes. There we go. Stop fucking attacking me, dickhead. Douchebag. Oopsie daisy. Switch prayers, dickhead. God damn it. This guy is actually pretty fucking good. Holy sh**. We must not lose our full rune. These early PvP videos didn't have the computer breaking rage yet, but you could see some of the pieces were already there. Teleporting into multi, you know, Falador with the one itemers. Whether that be due to, you know, him not knowing, or purposefully, who, who knows, you know. But it's just the absurdity of the situation. Teleporting into Fally, fighting with a one-itemer. He gets hopped on by five other one-itemers. He fights this dude in this Tyrus helm, this ridiculous gear. Shortly after the first few PvP videos, another element was added to these PvP videos, which was the destruction of whatever type of computer equipment was laying nearby him at the time he died, or whatever he was using at the time. Nothing was really safe. He would destroy any computer equipment around him, um, it was crazy. I remember in 2008, people would be speculating, you know, I wonder what power tool he's going to use next. I wonder how he's going to destroy the next laptop. I wonder what's going to happen. Shows the power though. No, 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 no. No, no, what the f***? Ah! Ah! Get off the phone! Get off the phone! I, I just f***ing died! Ah! Oh, out the window, my new computer's going out the window, out the window, out the window, out the window. We must run, we must run. Hope you eat snow, goddammit. God. <laughs> Heal my ass, Mr. Bunya. Mr. Bungholes, no! Holy shit! Teleport now! Holy mother! Whoa! No! no, 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 no. Whoa! <laughs> Holy tax son of a mother! Holy fuck! Yeah! Oh my god! I don't know how much long I got. What is taking so damn long? There it goes. These little small snippets of the rage clips that I showed probably aren't even 10% of the total rage clips on the channel regarding PvP, but they're some of my favorites. But overall, I mean, it was highly successful. You know, it just was every Friday I was releasing these PKing videos. Uh, fucking, um, cool. I think uh, one of my favorite tools besides the chainsaw was an auger. <laughs> I, my, my, my uncle is um, a construction worker, and I said, hey, can I borrow your auger, man? And he's like, and I, I was living in an apartment at the time, and he's like, what in God's name do you need an auger for? You don't have, like, a backyard. And I'm like, I just need it. And he knew I made YouTube videos, and I'm like, eh. So, totally worked in my favor. But um, now if I were to do that, it, it would, I mean, I have more success uploading a bank video saying, hey, my bank is an RS3, 140 bill. That actually gets more video views than I upload a video of me smacking the crap out of, you know, you know a, a PC. But 
back then during that time frame highly successful now it's um totally works against me he also had a character i i liken it to you know spark max little willis where they put on a different voice uh nightmare rh's character was known as jimmy and i'll just briefly play a clip of that as well uh, melee what do you mean melee uh, that means go to the little star and hit melee prayer oh uh, that means do it now jimmy okay uh you need to eat something eat something now oh Eat something now or we're gonna die. Depending on who you ask, they would either say this was odd or entertaining behavior, but whatever your opinion on it is, Nightmare RH and Spark Mac had two of the biggest channels around the time and they both did this with their respective characters. Community interaction was a huge part of the channel. More than most other creators, Nightmare RH would frequently interact with the community via fan mail, Q&As, and giveaways. This was a special part of the channel and something that isn't seen much anymore for reasons I won't get into in this video. Although some minor and kind of humorous stuff did happen with the uh, P.O. box that I'll play in this clip. It's time for a new video. Guys, I have had my P.O. box open for just about a year now. For you guys who send me mail that I read off in letter shout out videos. And you know what? Past year, I've been having a blast. I've been getting letters from you guys, reading off funny letters. You guys have been sending me funny shit to read, plus funny pictures that you guys drew. But does somebody remember what I made obvious not to send me? Firstly, I said do not send me any food. Do not send me any animals like pets or wild shit you find outside. Do not send me any electronics like iPhones, you know, microwaves, camcorders, refrigerators. Do not send me your grandmother. Do not send me any money. Oh yes, and don't send me any f***ing sex toys. Isn't it just f***ing amazing that some people just don't listen? What do we got here today? Let me see. Two Nightmare RH. Hope you enjoy what's inside. Smiley face. Let's see what's in this box of goodies that was sent to me. Well, very firstly, guys, we um we got some beads. <laughs> some um lovely um beads. <laughs> I wonder what these things are used for. Nextly, well, <laughs> we got um kind of like a a chain of beads here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of makes me wonder <laughs> how far they got. And maybe uh, only like this far, or, or maybe this far. <laughs> what else do we have in this shit? Uh, ooh, we got some Trojans. Uh, oh, look who decided to join the fucking party, guys. <laughs> it's Mr. Johnny West from American Pie. Hello, Mr. Johnny West. How the f*** are you doing today? Well, I'm just good. I, you know, I'm just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> ah, Mr. Johnny. Also, because it's related to community, and I want to kind of fit somewhat of a theme here and keep my video organized, in mid-2015, a friend was selected for random military service for nine months. That would be the YouTuber, a friend. Nightmare RH came out in support of a friend with a response video and garnered a lot of uh, community respect and support, and it was a pretty cool moment at the time. Because he may not want to do that, Secondly, he's not mentally and physically ready and prepared. And thirdly, he has a life and he has other responsibilities and other stuff going for himself. So anyways, like I said, once again, I totally understand and totally agree with what you're saying. Because to be perfectly honest, nine months of military service, that really doesn't make sense. Mainly because you're going to have to go through some type of basic training. You're going to have to go through some type of schooling of what job you're going to basically be doing. And it's not like being drafted drafted during the uh, Vietnam War back in the 70s when you had to enlist for three, four years. This is totally different. Being a ma mil mandatory military service for nine months, you're probably going to spend about a third of those months actually being trained in whatever job you or whatever stuff they're going to have you be doing whether it might be something dangerous or it might be something just around in the office however regardless being pulled from your normal life for nine months when you weren't ready to do it and you're not prepared to do it and you didn't make the decision to join your military 
it's really not right and that's just really my personal opinion and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys pretty much feel the same way. And yes, what you said in your YouTube video was totally accurate. If you go away for nine months, well then you're probably going to come back and your video views probably most likely will be cut in half. Back when I went on my last deployment back in 2011, I chose to pre-record over 1400 videos. Even though I chose to pre-record 1400 videos and have them uploaded while I was deployed, when I came back from my deployment, my video views were cut in half. And do you want to know why they were cut in half, a friend? Is because little kids on the internet have an attention span of cottage cheese. Yes, that's the reason why. It sucks, but it's the truth. Also, on the tail end of this community chapter, I would like to put in any controversies Nightmare RH has been in. He really hasn't been in a whole lot of controversy. The only thing that he has been in controversy for or has gotten himself into trouble for was pre-recording videos. Alright, but basically, plain and simple, the reason why that I uh, uploaded pretty much about 10 to maybe 11 months of pre-recorded shit and actually didn't finish uploading all the pre-recorded stuff I pre-recorded was basically because I did a deployment. That's basically the simplest answer that I can give you guys. Uh, the reason why that I didn't basically tell you guys that I was being deployed is, one, uh, it's something you really don't talk about. You can talk about it, you know, once you actually, once your deployment's over, but basically you just, it's something you really actually just don't talk about before it pretty much happens and shit. Uh, there's actually only a handful of people that actually knew I was actually being deployed. Uh, when I say a handful of people, I mean Chris, Kelly, my friend Adam, and my cousin Tyler. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Alright, but otherwise, the reason why that I chose to basically, um, pre-record a year, just about a year's worth of videos for you guys, um, is, ba well, let me first of all say this. Back in 2000, and I'll, I'll, on the screen, I'll be showing fucking, um, some old pictures, uh, some, you know, deployment pictures, some, some new pictures of me in my uniform, so you guys can basically, you know, see some, eh, see some shit. Uh, but anyways, um, basically back in 2009, when, uh, I pretty much first, uh, went overseas and shit, uh, my fan base at the time, whoo, it, it was, it was below... 15,000 subscribers and I only had one YouTube channel and basically pretty much it you know I mean I was uploading at that time one to maybe two video a week so for me to really go over you, you know what I it's I it wasn't a problem me uploading pre-recorded stuff not to mention to be perfectly honest Jagex really wasn't updating the game a whole lot back then and uh, no harm was really done I mean, I, I really don't talk about my personal life on this game, mainly because I play this game for fun and I kind of keep shit separate and stuff. Um, but this past year has really drained the living fuck out of me. Uh, and plus, it's it kind of really got all fucked up with pre-recorded pre videos and stuff. So, yeah. Think of it this way. Basically, a year ago, uh, when I say a year ago, I mean kind of like March of 2011, I had four, at the time, four YouTube channels and just about 200,000 subscribers. Uh, really did not want to upload a video basically saying, hey guys, um, I'm going AFK for like uh, 11 months. I'll see you guys then, or I may never see you guys again. Oh well, see you guys in 11. <laughs> you, see, you just, you don't do something. It's, you haven't, even though this is my fucking hobby, there's still an obligation. You know, even though some of you guys really don't give a fuck, uh, but I'm making this video basically for the guys that actually give two fucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's certain obligations out there and stuff. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so what I did last uh, 2011 March until the beginning of May was I spent 60 fucking days in front of a computer, uh, literally 18 hours a day, pre-recording video. I actually made... 1,479 fucking videos for you guys to watch while I was basically going to be gone. I will take that number to my fucking grave with me. Because those 60 days, I had no social life. I, while all my friends, you know, they were out fucking having fun before, you know, we were basically doing our uh, pre-deployment fucking build-up and shit. Uh, I sat in front of a goddamn computer. Nightmare RH versus the Jagex moderators. So I'm not entirely sure what was the catalyst or the spark for this little miniature rivalry between Nightmare RH 
and a handful of the J mods, but I can make some decent assumptions. So you have the biggest YouTuber, or one of the biggest RuneScape YouTubers that is, being very critical of your updates and acting the way Nightmare RH does. And I'm guessing this didn't sit well with at least a handful of the J mods. And this was also around the time of the Evolution of Combat update, so the community was already riled up. They would come and they would sit in Nightmare RH's friends chat, but first they would typically say hello or something to rile the clan chat up, when they riled them up, people would start getting muted. People would start getting kicked from the friends chat. Hey, motherfuckers out there. All right, but anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys something that a friend of mine actually sent to me. And it's something that kind of really irritates me a little bit because it's just really whatever. So anyways, a friend of mine, uh, 15 kills, who's a general in my uh, little uh, friends chat, little thingamabob, which means nobody can kick him out except me. And last night I was actually offline for a good chunk of the, uh, the uh, evening and shit. And I log on and he shows me this little video. Basically a fucking J-Mod came into my friend's chat and kicked him. You see, no offense to any of you guys out there, but I do not like moderators. I do not like player moderators and I do not like J-Mods in general. Reason why I do not like player moderators is because they have a higher power that can be very abusive. Today was a f Invasion of J mods. They came, they kicked people, and they were assholes. As you are basically seeing on the screen, they basically came in and just decided to talk to themselves because that's really all they fucking do. Don't they get tired of talking to themselves? They join an FC and then they have like fucking butt sex or something. I really don't know what they do, but they talk to each other. Then, of course, one of them kicked my friend. Why would you kick my friend? Got out of the lobby and logged on to a RuneScape world and I made a live commentary video. Which I'm basically going to show you guys a clip right now. So anyways, I was eating my sandwich and my friend told me to get on RuneScape. And I got on RuneScape and I see this little doodad in here. What the flying There's no kick! There's no kick! Why can't I kick it? How? This is treachery! There is no kick! There is no kick! There is no kick option! Dingleberry in my clan chat. Ooh, look at it! It's so small! It's so small! It's a little shit titty! And then there was four f douchebags in my friend's chats the other day. I was not online, thank God, because I was actually laying in bed. Look at it! It is chaos in here! Ooh, it is goddamn chaos. This is the shit that I'm talking about. Absolute chaos. All because of a goddamn little shit titty. It's here and it will not talk. It's idling. It just sits here and it causes chaos. It's a goddamn nuclear missile. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, no shit. I will keep up my hard work, God damn it. but this thing will not talk. Don't worry, it's too scared to talk. What's slightly funny to me at least is one of his best friends, Chris Archie, got employed by Jagex as a J-Mod on October 13th, 2014, a little over a year after the uh, end of this little clan chat debacle. You can't blame me for that one, I didn't say anything. Look, look, at, your mess, look at the mess you left. <laughs> Alright, come on, Chris, give me a thousand tickets. Oh, you passed it. What are you doing? Four, Four tickets? That's the worst one possible. Dude, you're terrible at this. This kid wants to do it. Chris isn't letting him. <laughs> oh! Oh! No! <laughs> he storms off. Oh! Oh! 500 tickets! 500 tickets! See, I told you! Look at that! Look at that! Just pumping it out! They had such a good friendship at the time that Nightmare RH was actually invited to Chris Archie's wedding. And Chris and Kelly's wedding, and do you smoke weed? No, I do not smoke weed. Did I attend their wedding? No. Um, I got an invitation to go, but because I was on a med hold, because I broke my fucking hand back in March, 
Uh, I was not medically cleared to leave the goddamn country. It's, it, yeah, it, it fucking, it sucks. I, I, I felt fucking horrible. Around this time, Nightmare RH also started doing skits, making fun of Mod Mark. It was nothing serious, and it was all in good fun. But they're kind of amusing just due to how absurd some of it is and just how juvenile some of it is. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, yep, we're gonna win, though. We're gonna win! Oh, my God! Mod Mark! This ah! video... Because I really, you know, I, I mean, I took the time out of my day to make something for him. And I know he's going to be using it all the time. So, therefore, yeah, you know, it's very special. So, Mr. Modmark, I made a wonderful present for you. Mr. Modmark, please meet your new Christmas present from myself to you. I call her the RuneScape Punisher 2000. Ah, let's go ahead and test her out. There's a ton of other clips on his channel just poking fun at Mod Mark and just being a Jagex moderator in general. Uh, they're pretty amusing. But this all culminated at 2016's RuneFest, where Mod Mark would actually mention on stage Nightmare RH. So you know he had to have seen at least some of these and may have been getting slightly annoyed or may have thought they were slightly funny. I mean, who knows? Just about enough time for me to talk about one of my favorite characters of all time. Now, he's a lovable loser that lives in his mum's basement. He thinks he wants things to be evil, but he's just too nice. He likes to say controversial things, but it's really just to get attention. And despite all the tough talk, he wouldn't hurt a fly. No, I'm not talking about Nightmare RH. I'm talking about <laughs> Evil Dave. So there's Evil Dave. By the way, I actually got a shout out at RuneFest by Mod Mark. It only took him about maybe six or seven years to actually give me a shout out, which was pretty awesome. Yeah! But anyways, right now, guys, I have a lot of crap I need to do, so uh, I'm going to go back down into the basement where I live and uh, play RuneScape all day and night because that's the only thing I do. <laughs> See you guys in a few. Check out my live stream this coming weekend. Bye! Like I said earlier, this is barely scratching the surface of all the JMod Nightmare RH content he has on the channel. But it's a nice little wrap up for the chapter, you know, a nice little slightly wholesome ending. I want to wrap up this chapter and video by talking about present day slash recent Nightmare RH. And Nightmare, if you end up seeing this, I'm not trying to rub salt in the wound. I'm merely making a brief timeline, kind of describing what happened or what I think happened. At points during 2008 to 2012, Nightmare was one of the most viewed RuneScape channels on the entire platform. He would consistently pull anywhere from 50,000 to 200,000 views per video, sometimes even more than that. Whereas nowadays he pulls anywhere from 1k to 10k, sometimes if he makes a bank video due to his large wealth it might get 20,000 views occasionally, uh, but most of them float around the 1 to 10k views per video range. So, what do I think happened? And I'm just a moron, I'm a stupid idiot, nothing I say should be taken as fact or even close, right? But Evolution of Combat got announced. His viewership took a hit. This was probably due to EOC being an unpopular update at the time and causing a drop in player base on the RuneScape game. Subsequently, this could have affected his viewership. I mean, some may have stuck around and still watch RuneScape content, but you have to imagine that a decent portion would also not stick around and watch RuneScape content. The various deployments Nightmare RH went on throughout the years could also be to blame. YouTube punishes creators pretty heavily by going inactive and not uploading for a few weeks to a few months. They will stop featuring your video on the main page, they will stop recommending it to people on the sidebar. Another point I've seen is that out of the 200,000 subscribers Nightmare RH currently has, a good portion are inactive. This is probably true to some extent. Perhaps people grew out of the content they once found funny in 2008 to 2012. I'm just an average idiot though, but I think it is all of the above, maybe a few more things to varying degrees. You know, these are all assumptions though, I don't actually know. Now, since he's been uploading more frequently as of late, do I think it's going to be impossible for him to climb back? No, I, I don't think it's impossible. He still has extensive game knowledge. He has, nowadays, what would be considered an unorthodox method of playing. It can still be entertaining, and his personality, he's chilled out a bit recently. Um, he still uploads to the Nightmare RH channel. I'll put the links down below in the description and the pinned comment. I believe he also streams on Twitch as well. I will link that as well. 
on YouTube. He has a Max Cape series. He's going for a Max Cape. He does podcasts now with some very big YouTube content creators. It's pretty interesting. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of Nightmare RH. I say brief even though it's 30 freaking minutes is because 30 minutes is not enough to cover Nightmare RH. You would need, you know, a video that is a couple of hours to even scratch the surface and it would take, you know, very long time to make that. But the video is over 30 minutes now, so I think I'm going to head out, guys. Thanks for watching this far. Remember to hit that stupid, stupid bell. Uh, leave a comment. What do you guys think? What do you guys think happened to the channel? Why did you stop watching him? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head out. Peace.